regexseo.com is the one-stop place for all of your SEO, web design, and digital marketing needs. They work within any budget, and you can check them out down in the link in the description below. What is up guys, Ultimate Debate, and today I've actually got a pretty exciting uh, start to a new series. It's going to be three, probably four parts. Um, it's going to be three different Wi-Fi adapters, speed tests in each video, and then the fourth one will be explaining the difference between um, each type and then what the benefits or the um, drawbacks might be to each one. And so for the first one today, we're going to start with a PCIe based um, in adapter and it is from Roswell and basically what it does is it plugs into the motherboard and it allows you to have uh, a little bit lower latency than something like a USB adapter and um, this way you get just I don't know less better speeds um, more reliability I guess um, the benefits also would be that the antennas are usually hanging out the back and you, you, you aren't relying on a USB adapter, which is going to be a lot smaller, the antenna is a lot smaller, um, as well as the transmitter sending from the adapter to the um, router. And so you'll get better antennas, better coverage, better everything basically. Um, it usually allows for higher speeds too. So we'll be go ahead and, and box this one and do the test. Alright, so this is the box right here. Pretty straightforward, just simple padding. So let's go ahead and get into it. Cool, so as you can tell, we have the actual uh, Wi-Fi adapter that plugs into the motherboard, the two antennas, uh, an extra piece not sure why maybe for a different type of case or something I'll, I'll check um, a quick installation guide driver CD which I'm glad to see and then some type of warning I don't get it uh, let's go ahead and install it in the computer Okay, so for the rose wheel adapter, installation was a little bit rough. Um, I didn't like how the antenna was actually attached to the back of the card. Uh, it was kind of annoying because I had to move my PC out and unplug a lot of stuff to actually install it. So that might be something to consider if you have a, uh, a very limited amount of space to work with in terms of insulation and moving stuff. For me, it was difficult. Uh, results may vary, but I found it much more difficult than the Gigabyte adapter. Um, but for in, in terms of speed, uh, the upload, so I did a 10 minute upload uh, file for each of the adapters and the Rosewell uploaded it in 2 minutes, 8 seconds, and 67 milliseconds. Um, so that's pretty decent actually for an in Wi-Fi connection. Uh, it had, for speed tests, it had an average of a 5 millisecond ping, a 55 megabit per second download, and an 85 megabit per second upload. So once again, not terrible. Um, do keep in mind that with with an AC Wi-Fi adapter on the end network, which I didn't test for that adapter because you wouldn't use that in a real life scenario, so I didn't test it for that. But for the same thing, I got over 100 megabits per second just because the internet's that fast, and this Wi-Fi adapter can only handle up to that speed, um, the 55 and 85. So just keep that in mind whenever you buy it. Um, it's not the full potential, um, but yeah, in general, honestly, the price is where where it is a really good price um, but honestly I would go ahead and save up a little bit invest in maybe the gigabyte adapter um, and just just go big or go home guys um, I'll go ahead and explain the difference between the in and AC Wi-Fi in the fourth video where I explain the difference between them um, and so that way if you are not sure about it maybe you're new to the Wi-Fi game check that video out when it's ready um, trust me it'll save you some headache and yeah uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Go ahead and hit the like, bu like button if you did like it. Hit subscribe if you enjoyed multiple videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.